Juan Carlos Valeron has always played with time on his side, but after a long career, the elegant midfielder is hanging up his boots. Now 41, he's called time after three years with Las Palmas, the club where it all began more than 20 years ago. That moment in my life had arrived, and I thought it was time to finish my spell with Deportivo La Coruña, even if I didn't know what was going to happen with my future. But as it happened, God had prepared my return home, and I'm very happy to be enjoying these moments. He was born here, he left here, and he came back here. So he's a special person, a special player, a player that is respected anywhere he goes, and obviously much more so here at Las Palmas. He's an extraordinary guy. He's a player that everybody likes, not just because he was and still is an amazing footballer, but also because he's a great person. He's a man dedicated to football, with a great reputation and an untouchable presence in the history of football in this country. It makes things very easy. He talks to everyone, from the younger players to the veterans, and we feel very proud. It's a privilege to have him with us. He helps us in every way. And on the pitch, what can I say? He's absolutely amazing. It's great for us and for the fans. Valeron originally left Las Palmas in 1997. Starring in La Liga with Mallorca and Atletico Madrid, he went on to join league champions Deportivo La Coruña, where he would spend the next 13 years. The team were growing a lot at the time. They had just won the league. It was a season that I'd arrived. Having all those experiences there in Coruña with all those people, it makes you strongly identify with the club, with the city, with the people. There's this moment when you start feeling part of Coruña. You become more Coruñan, as much a Deportivista as the rest. And I've said this in the last few weeks, when I had the chance to go back to Coruña. Coruña isn't just my second home, it's my home. He played 46 times for Spain, including at the 2002 World Cup, a tournament which still holds fond memories, despite Spain's quarter-final exit to South Korea. It was incredible. You're so focused, trying to play the best you can. I even scored a goal. At the time, I didn't enjoy it as much as you do once time has passed, because in that moment, you're focused on the next game, on the next training session. You don't give it the importance that it deserves. You see it as something ordinary. And that's because our main objective was to cross that line that we hadn't crossed for many years, which was the quarterfinals. His career with Deportivo came to an end in 2013, allowing him a return to Gran Canaria, a hotbed of talent that has produced the likes of David Silva. It's incredible, the talent that's come from this land, not only from Las Palmas, but all the islands. I think there's a football culture that's rooted after many years, a type of football that comes from the street, talented and typical of the footballer from the Canaries. I think he's Las Palmas heritage, and not just Las Palmas, he's part of Spanish football. He's a player that both the club and Spanish football must put on a pedestal as high as the moon.